I really felt like the two students that had the 80s could have done 100 as well. But anyway, I let it ride. So that campaign is over and I'm a little excited about that. I really found myself pushing students that really didn't care, but I knew they could. So yeah, I did it. I pushed them to do it. Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday, November 1st. And it is about 8.54 and I have a lot to do today. The kids are in the library. We have liquid sunshine again in my area. So the weather was very severe this morning. So I got here actually late because the weather was so severe. I started out this morning and um, just started thinking about what the meteorologist said and thought mm, I should not be on the road. So I headed down the street, I guess about half a mile and I thought, girl, you need to go back home until the weather clears up. So I went back home and waited for the weather to clear up and it didn't take very long. I guess about, um, I guess I went back home for another 40 minutes or so. So the weather cleared up and I came this way. So, so far this morning, the Be a Champion and Read campaign is over. Yes, I remember the correct title. Be a Champion and Read ended on yesterday. So I had, um, I think about 12 of the 19 students that read the six books and made, um, I was pushing for 100, but I think it could have been 80. So I had a couple of kids that had, one little student had two 80s and another little student had an 80, but everybody else had the six 100. So I really felt like the two students that had the 80s could have done 100 as well. But anyway, I let it ride. There were um, another little student that was absent yesterday and Tuesday. I think she would have had the six 100s too if she had been here. But because she was absent, she didn't uh, get those six books in in a timely manner. So that campaign is over and I'm a little excited about that. I really found myself pushing students that really didn't care, but I knew they could. So yeah, I did it. I pushed them to do it and um, and they did. So I'm a little proud about that. And um, so far this morning, it is still storming outside. So today should be kind of a quiet day. I have four students absent. No, three, because one came in tardy. So I have three students absent and I'm not sure if they'll come in after the weather kind of clears up or not, but the weather is not as severe now as it was earlier this morning. But um, so, so far the kids have come in and they've started their bell ringer. They are correcting two sentences. Look like capitalization and punctuation is the only thing that needs to be corrected. They have another analogy and they have a few math problems. Um, it's what that bell ringer was for today. So when they get back in, I'll pull them to the carpet. We will continue with our main topic and details. We will continue with our ending blends and high frequency words, um, possessive nouns. I'm going to try and get another detail on that writing that we're doing about an animal. They need to go to the computer and do a little research. Um, you know, with having a student absent, that may be a good uh, good time to do it with having three students absent. But that's what we're going to be working on today. We're going to finish or do another part of the Be a Champion. No, Be a Champion. We're going to do another part of the Me on the Map project. And... I'm going to put that on the bulletin board and hopefully it'll be completed before I leave here tomorrow. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is what it's looking like so far. I'm going to copy this on this blue paper. These need to be stapled. So we've already begun to write sentences about me, my home, my city, my state, my country, my continent, my planet. I have the planet ready to give them to glue on here. I have the continent ready to glue. I have the country and the state, I think, ready to glue on here. So I will staple this together and it will go right here. 
they're going to color this blue and have some water here in it as well, some little shapes of that's going to represent the water. They're going to stand on this with their hand up. So that's what that looks like. All right. This is that bell ringer piece that they're doing this morning. Thought you wanted to take a look at it. So I just wanted to check in with you this morning. I will try and check back in with you when the kids go to PE about 1.15, but that's what's going on in my neck of the woods. All right, talk to you later. Good morning, guys. Today is Friday, November 2nd, day two of November. And I came in first thing this morning, and the first thing I saw was a mess. So I'm gonna show you that mess. But, um, so what I'm doing first this morning is organizing some things, putting some stuff up that I left out yesterday. Yesterday I was busy doing a lot of different things, working on a bulletin board, working on the me on the map project so hopefully both of those things will get done today before i left but yesterday i didn't get a chance to check back in with you so yesterday um i think i left off the kids were at the library i told you when they came back in i was going to pull them to the carpet to do my whole group reading which i did after that they moved to some centers i did my small group they went to the computer they had a your seat activity had something to do with spelling and uh, some practice book pages so um, after that, I pulled, well, while they were doing that, I pulled my small group. By then, it was lunchtime. After lunch, we came back in and did another detail for that writing, for our animal writing, um, explanatory writing that I was telling you about. Then we moved into math. I had a little quick assessment for them. They did that. After PE, we continued to work on the Me on the Map project. It's coming along very good. I think we're gonna be able to finalize it today. I think what I am going to do is go ahead and get it done this morning. I'm gonna try and flip flop my math and, and my social studies science time. We normally don't do social studies and science till after PE, but I'm gonna move it up this morning and move it up today and go ahead and get it done this morning so that I can get those projects out there in the hallway. Um, so today is gonna be pretty much as usual. We do have art today, so art is at about 10.20. So hopefully that project will be done before then, and if so, I may just take them to art and drop them off. Usually we stay with them, but I may just drop them off and come back over here and um, finish that bulletin board. So, um, so this morning when they come in, um, they're gonna do their bell ringer. Then I think I'm gonna go ahead and definitely start on the project. They do have their reading test today. They have a reading test on the things that we studied this week, um, which, is, which is, which was main topics. I am gonna go ahead and teach my whole group lesson first though, but it's very brief. But their test is gonna be on main topic and details ending blends, um, possessive nouns, one of those phonemes something. So um, it should be pretty easy for them. They've been doing really well on that. I'm really proud of them. Even my lower students have been doing really well. Of course, I test them in small group. I have, I guess about two thirds of the class that could probably do it on their own independently but that small group, I definitely pulled them close to me. That There's been times where I let that other two thirds do it on their own and they've always done well, but that one third needs to be right next to me. And then even when they're taking that test, sometimes I'll say, read that paragraph to me, read this paragraph to me, because I want to see how they're doing in their reading. So that's what's on schedule for today. Today is probably the coldest day that we've had so far. We have not had many cold days. Yesterday, the weather was very severe. 
but today I think the high is only in the 60s, mid 60s, and it feels really good out there. And um, so that's what I have scheduled for today. So I'll just kind of check in with you. I'll check back in with you later. Bye bye. Let me show you how I left my room on yesterday. Something I very seldom do. That's a mess. I left that. I left that mess there. I left that one back there in the back. I left that one there. And let me show you one more. And I left that one over there. So first thing this morning, I am organizing. Oh, and there's another one. And there's one right over there. Or two, or three, or a lot. Okay, so after the kids got in um, this morning, they did their bell ringer. I told you that this morning. I told you I was gonna pull them to the carpet and wrap up unit two, week three. So I did that. After that, they went to some centers. I started um, testing in small group. Well, I did one small group and I did the other two thirds of the class together. So I did two groups. I did a two thirds of the class group and a one third of the class group. So that went very well. I think they did pretty good on that test as well. I forgot to give them their spelling test. Oh, I don't know if I can really say I forgot. Time just kind of got away from me because I started this being on the map project and I was bound and determined to get it done today. So that will be on the bulletin board. Um, hopefully when they get here Monday, I'm going to stay here and make sure I get it out there because I'm not going to say anything about me on the map next week. That has taken me all week to get done. But just like I say, overall, I think they turned out pretty nice. Um, so we worked on that a lot today and um, they took a noun test and reading test, noun test, and I want to say it seemed like it was one other test. But that's about it. I had a couple of students to take an AR test because the principal wanted them to read an additional two books in order to um, qualify or for their name to go into a drawing for an Alabama or Auburn gift basket. So that's a different um, that's a different award. Read for the record. Am I? Nope. I'm saying it wrong again. Be a champion and read contest was about winning tickets to the Iron Bowl. So the principal is giving away raffling off. Uh, Alabama and an Auburn gift basket. So she wanted them to read an additional two books in order to put their name in the drawing for that. Um, I think Alabama won. I think the most students read that were Alabama fans. So, all right, so I wanted to update you on that as well. All right, so I'm really out of here this time. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I'm checking back in with you. It is about almost four o'clock, just a couple of minutes till. It is the end of the, the day and I am wrapping things up. Kind of check back in just to really say have a great weekend. Um, when you see this vlog, it will be Sunday. You won't see another one till probably next Thursday. So make sure you go out and vote. There are a lot of educators that are running for um, offices so make sure you get out and vote on Tuesday um, the weather is supposed to be really nice this weekend it's supposed to be cool so do that I want to show you the kids project me on the map project so here is here's a couple of them so turned out pretty nice I'm getting ready to put them on the bulletin board in the hallway I'll show you them after I get them up okay that's mr. breach cleaning up so I told you the room was a mess and my tables needed cleaning. So I have Mr. Breach in here doing that for me. So thank you, Mr. Breach. You're welcome. All right. So that is it. I will see you next week. So have a great weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>